Hello, and first thing, how come none of y'all ever told me about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure before? And second, welcome back to East Origin. Well, we're blasting away at some rather unusually tough slimes. And you may have taken a look at the video counter. That's right, the timer gives it right away that this is going to be a pretty story-heavy section. At least for Hugo, anyway. Thankfully, levels come quick and furious for us right now. Not that Hugo we really needed any more fury, he's already got too many. First and most essential step is always the road of fruit. As always, Hugo has something of an easier time around here with at least most of the enemies in the Silent Sand. However, there is still one that can give him trouble because of how his skills work and how they interface with the elemental weaknesses around here. That won't be seen for a little bit, but we'll be taking a look at it pretty soon. So long as we get properly smacked by these spinning spike bars. Can't forget that part of this area. So in the previous area, Hugo destroyed a priceless heirloom of the Tova family, mouthed off to his uh, far superior, her brother, and displayed that his capacity for self-reflection is roughly that of half of a shot glass. Hopefully he'll start to uh, make up for it around here, so I'll leave you people to be the judge. Oh, okay, you can judge for yourselves. I, I'll judge for myself like I do all the time. One of the reasons things can get a bit hairy uh, here for Hugo is that a lot of the enemies here are uh, weak to his fire wheel and fire beams. But uh, some of them have moves that give them immunity to a hit stun. These are not those guys, of course. Mask of Eyes, Reveal Hidden Bridge, Open Chest, Get, Plot Essential Item. Specifically, the Evil Ring. There's really not that much Hugo specific to talk about in that this particular part of the map. These 
these areas are actually easier on Hugo than most because you're dealing with swarms of enemies in pretty narrow spaces sometimes, which is pretty ideal for uh, Hugo's particular mode of attack, which is fill everything in front of him with damage. Speaking of which, I'm going to increase the power of the Eyes of Fact. I only have a bare idea of what that actually does, but I'm just going to assume it's good times. His shot ability also makes it much easier for him to deal with these swarms of skeleton uh, things, if that's what you want to do in order to navigate this section. Those stairs were not made for walking up. Ah, fire wheel. It is actually a pretty nice melee weapon uh, when you can find uh, enemies that uh, aren't strong against it. Okay, this room, very dangerous. It's actually more dangerous for uh, Hugo because he's not as good at separating uh, them apart. Plus, his normal attacks don't cause any hit stun. And if he gets too close, well, to use his fire wheel, then he gets exploded. Right, I need what's in there first. We have double jump, therefore we are invincible, said no one who ever played Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Every game should have a double jump ability, even when it's completely pointless. There should be a visual novel with a double jump uh, track in it. Grab a bit of heals. Remember that we forgot something. Yeah, I've been playing Castlevania Circle of the Moon lately. And this is a welcome uh, break from uh, games that, uh, from Metroidvanias and stuff that demand huge amounts of backtracking. One 
what backtracking there is is pretty easy to do because they either don't make you move uh, more than a floor or so, or you can just plain warp wherever you need to be. It's successive backtracking that basically made me give up on uh, Harmony of Dissonance. have to look back and see if Unica noticed that there's no way for the Rue to actually leave that ledge. Congratulations, our reward is a pair of old boots. I'm just kidding, I'll never turn down armor. Most of the time when playing more conventional uh, turn-based RPGs, I am pretty much the ultimate paranoia player. Do I have everything healing? Do I have all the highest armors ever? Which is my why my progress in Golden Sun has always been glacial. Okay, Hugo is left to his own devices. Let's see how this goes. Flame wheel, flame wheel, flame wheel, done. Hugo asks some legitimate uh, questions here, and some not so much. Might be true, actually. The previous box, I mean. Oh, 
someone a bit more savvy might uh, think of how Toll might be playing his own game here. Considering that Toll has not actually hurt anybody, with the exception of mass murdering Zava's own demons. Well, okay, he did beat up Hugo a bit. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a game. Every time I see something like that... I, uh, think of the beginning of Rambo for the, uh... NES, where you talk to Colonel Troutman, and he gives you the offer to uh, leave and uh, go on uh, the mission to Vietnam, and if you say no, his reply is something like, but the game won't begin until you say yes. Speaking of playing his own game, Toll just... <laughs> uh let everyone in on where uh, Fina was being kept. Don't hang up, Hugo! Yeah, pot, kettle, black, Hugo. Oh, that won't be pretty. Oh yeah, I better equip that thing I just got. Might be helpful to not dying. Yeah, the little bugs around here are uh, vulnerable to uh, Hugo's fire wheel. His wind skill does a little bit of contact damage, but not all that much to make it worthwhile to ram it into enemies. There will be a point later which it, where that sort of thing is mandatory, and you know already which one it is. But for regular use, no, it's not an offense skill. Come on, jump right on that one. This is not a good day for acrobatics. Sorry about that. Yeah, the reason that those little bugs are pretty nasty, especially for Hugo, is that they hit basically just on contact, 
and they very easily interrupt the Hugo's attempts to shoot. And since Hugo's normal shooting doesn't cause hit stun, well, you can see the problems pretty quickly. Okay, we've got ourselves an elevator, but we're not heading there quite yet. wondered what I had done, and I think I really should have just sat tight and saved up for the increase SP thingamajigger. Oh well, there's still another route to do things properly in. downstairs and in pairs, I want them to be log and not bomb. These enemies are actually worth shooting when you're playing as Hugo because you don't have to jump into quicksand to actually hit these guys. They'll just bungle all over and get their chivalry all over everything. Take weeks to clean out. Okay, strength and armor, eventually. And into the annex we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that. Oh, hello again. The 
one and only. Yeah, what Zava doesn't doesn't know is that Hugo is an extraordinarily physically fierce music critic. And he says ding every time he does it. Do you know anything about that? <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Zava, don't hit on people. There's nothing Zava can do that's not creepy. Come to think of it, a couple of the later enemies in this game uh, use fairly similar devices to shoot at you with. Okay, so Dinosaurus, who is actually a bit harder as Hugo. Well, Hugo, well, Hugo can shoot uh, Dinosaurus from pretty much wherever he wants. Hugo's fire wheel doesn't really offer the same sort of uh, damage pumping that Unica's tornado skill offers. So it's almost certainly going to take you longer to destroy Tyrannosaurus as Hugo, even though you can hit him pretty much whenever you want. By the way, the lightning bolts uh, shot out by those uh, orbs, they can inflict the heavy status which is basically death in this fight. And this is about where I decide, you know what, I'm just gonna tank the rest of this fight. It turns out that might have been a bad idea. But victory is ours, and so is an extra level. See ya in East One. No, wait, didn't I make that joke already with Galaldi? Uh, I need to review these things. Well, I can't say she's wrong. Bye bye. Okay, last time we were here and Hugo was in the company of more reasonable wizards, his first instinct was to poke the giant cursed door of doom. Let's see what Hugo does when he's left to his own devices. And he still pokes it. Yeah, 
yeah, it's just a giant magical doom door. Who knows what can happen? Nothing can go wrong. Well... Well, that did the opposite of work. Well, uh, hello there. Wiggle your big toe. Well, I can believe that. Probably. Yeah, a Pona like Hugo is not a creature of self-reflection. Well, I guess that's a family trait then, isn't it?
wanted to have a choice of what he did in life. What's wrong with him? And every goddess Miss Dad would just give me a big slab of coal and tell me that if I wanted a real present, I'd have to transmute it out myself. Okay. Could you diagram that conclusion for us, Epona? Get out a blackboard, maybe create a PowerPoint. Come to think of it... It's not any of the people who actually uh, tried to be uh, super nice to Hugo that uh, he opens up to. It's Epona, who's basically one of the few people he's met so far who's willing to... You know, put up any sort of uh, resistance to Hugo's personality, for lack of a better word. She gets right to the point, as it were. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, Zava is not someone you want angry at you. And now Epona is uh, starting to sound like Dread Pirate Roberts. Good job today, go to bed, might kill you tomorrow morning. At least not the magical kind, anyway. So, that's it, and I will be seeing you next time. Bye!